an amazing and massive shoot. It's actually one of the more logistically complex things I think I've ever done. It's such a mind-blowing thing that you only see maybe once in your life. About 25,000 balls coming that way. We got about uh, 25,000 balls coming this way. Um, we've got a couple of big dumpsters that can dump 50,000 at a time, which is trying not to break any windows. How often do you get to launch 170,000 Super Bowls on San Francisco? It's all about the balls, you know, and the color of uh, the multicolors and, and the vitality and the organic flow of that. We just thought about footballs, tennis balls, uh, ping pong balls, all the kinds of balls that we could color up, you know, but it really was very important that Unpredictable. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. We, we called every every fun fair, you know, dealer in America and every Tivoli man and asked to, to get hold of all their bouncy balls. So so there's there's no bouncy ball for kids in America at this, at this present moment. They don't talk back to you. And they never sit in makeup and they throw no tantrums. They're pretty cool characters, these balls. Things is gonna be better and better for you as the ball progresses down the hill, yeah. There are 23 people in the camera department. Normally, you have multiple chances to do a take. Here, we're doing it once. There's sort of an extra bit of soul that I think comes from shooting stuff that's real. We could have just done it all in a little room somewhere. But I think it's all about sort of like celebrating colors of the world. And it's why we're here doing this in this particular place. So. I want to confirm we're locked up. Pictures up. <laughs> and what? One night of magic rush, the star to simple touch, one night to push and scream, and then ring ten days. And cut, thank you, cut, cut, cut! The colors red and blue.